WBA lightweight champion Gervonta Tank Davis taking on the number one contender, Roley Romero. Here is the colorful and dangerous WBA number one ranked lightweight contender, Rolando. over the rules in the dress room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. And here we go, round one. 18,970 people. And some fainting by uh, Javante Davis. I think we're likely to see that as he Something that Roley was talking about was that Tank will walk into a punch, and we're seeing a really smart he Davis now. To land, if at all possible, to we'll see if he can. And the crowd here is up on its feet, but not because of the fight. They're distracted by something we can't yet tell what it is. But that's a good job and jab that Romero is throwing right now in this first round, keeping David. Davis's prediction was, we'll see what happens in round two. Just Holy showed the left hand and that respect to the war right at the get-go. A good shot by Davis and a good counter by Davis. Wolfram. One thing that I'm seeing is that he's taking two steps back, making it difficult for a minute have gone is there's a healthy respect. Davis using the whole ring of boxing. Oh, he took a big left hand. hand. because he's going after him now. Now Romero stalking him now, and Davis going backwards for the moment. He can box, Davis, but you don't normally see him moving this much. Wild right hand misses. There's a left hand from Davis. Another left hand from Davis, but it was partially caught. Later on in the round, Davis himself would get the left hand in. Very nice. I hit. While it's true, Romero's not the big underdog, and so he felt that was good preparation for left-hander Davis. He talked about the jab that Romero's using, really effective. The combination, nothing serious. He's looking to be the simple equation. The left hook. Trying to hook with that jab. <laughs> Romero able to get that hook in Yes, there. he did. Maybe the difference in this fight. Well, I remember last time out he fought. This is a high-level power-punching chess match. Are awesome. you sure you're going to let And the more he does of that, and we saw it earlier, he faded and Romero flinched. Yeah. The left hand is going to come from Romero, and he lunges, and that allows Davis to counter. All day, all day. Volume punchers, and they're showing that in this fight. Both of them are not trying to make mistakes. That's how Davis stepped in, but that by the ear of Romero. He went on to sparring. It got better and better, and he said it's not an issue in this fight. Short from Romero. Davis is not using, well, there he did. I was going to say he's not yeah. using the jab to pave his way in, but he did do it. There. Yeah, when David throws that jab, oh, beautiful. Oh, but he just shot. missed it. Yeah, that is true, yeah. <laughs> So we come to round five of this fight. Tough fight. Head in the game, Tank. You want to keep the head here. Yeah. Romero. 
Ooh, that left by Davis. Man, he threw it all the way in because no. Romero is, is still using that jab really effectively. A little bit, leaving himself a little open mm -hmm. for a counter punch. He might want to jab his way in. There was a good left hand. That. You, you, get, you can see the focus in Tank right now. Look at his eyes. They're locked in. Throw that right so he can counter. So oh. he's, he's upset that he, oh, he is hurt. Romero right now. Yeah. Oh, good body shot. Well, and there's a the left Getting down. a warning right. from Field. Yeah, go. second warning. The, the, oh. Good body shot. The left hand of the body. What power punch is going to land? Wow, Davis is like looking at the crowd talking. He's really trying to play the, the mind game here, Davis. A little short with that left hand. Right. Romero has to make that fight happen like that, believe it or not. To see how much he will accept. And he's already given him two warnings, so the next time that happens. It's certainly a different posture for Gervonta Davis, fighting from the outside things like this. We just don't see it all the time. I think it's something that he has to do against a bigger Romero. Yep, probably. No, you're right, because in previous fights, we've seen that he, yes. he seems kind of awkward. But in this fight, he's not the one. There's a big left hand. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 39 seconds of round number six. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Gervonta Tang.